Right everybody, Bob Edwards here on his lockdown walkabout and today I think what I'm going to do is to go around Blakedown give you a little tour of my village where I live uh, we're walking up the uh, Mill Lane uh, on the estate and uh, we're going towards the uh, railway crossing Okay, so we're just coming up the, the mill lane and just coming to the railway. As you can see on the left there, there's the old uh, telephone box which has been converted into a defibrillator box. Now, I grew up in Blakedown, went to school there at the primary school, and after primary school, I moved on to um, Sliding Secondary School. So uh, we're going to try and keep this to about 15 minutes if we can. Um, the, uh, the signal box there, which they moved, used to be located there. And when it was uh, decommissioned as such, they moved. There was a bit of a public outcry that they didn't want to lose the uh, signal box, so they, so they moved it. They moved it to there, and I think it's used for meetings and parties and what have you. Big tree there, the big conker tree. That's where we used to get the conkers when we were little kids. I don't know if you, uh, you ever play conkers. This is my favourite game, school kid game. When I was younger, um, that way down there used to be the, uh, well it still is the avenue, what they call the avenue, and the um, the tennis court used to be on the right, a bit further down. So it's like the back road to, to the village uh, shops. There used to be quite a few shops there at one time. But uh, there's no sh there, there is a shop there in the post office. And uh, we'll go past that in a little while. We're walking down Birmingham Road. And on the left there, over there, there's a village school. Right down primary school, Church of England school changed a little bit since I was uh, since I attended um, but uh, it's quite a good school I remember the first day that my mum brought me down here to get to school as soon as she turned her back I up scarpered and uh, my mum started to chase me down the road I didn't want to go to school when I was a little kid I don't think anybody does for the first day Well, that's changed quite a bit now. Added on. Okay, my school was there. That was the original building to my school. And then they moved it over to there. Church. St James the Great. We've got a church in back there. In the day. I think they still have services there, I'm not too sure of a uh, Sunday. Okay, so we carry on a little further down. We come to one of the two pubs in Blackdown. We've got a church, we've got two pubs. We've got Blackdown, post office and shop. Here yeah, used to be Wormington's ditches. They used to have their own slaughterhouse on, on the site. Uh, 
because the wolf came, they, uh, they had to get rid of their sore face and so they decided to uh, shut down the butchers. That place over there years ago used to be uh, another shop. This there is the old house of town. It's been there for years. I remember, the, I remember going there and we used to have a lot of outdoors. Over this traffic, it's have an outdoor travel all the time, so you can go. I remember used to go in there taking the bottles to get some money when back when I was a little kid. Well, of course, a few of us off the estate used to do that. They come to the second pub in Blackdown called the Swan. This is where my dad, my dad's local, when he was alive, he used to come down here. A lot of people from the uh, estate used to come. It was a Banksy pub, that's where he used to come for the, uh, the beer. The Banksy beer was superb. It used to be run by uh, Harry and uh, Audrey Carter. A couple of the children are still in the state actually. But, um, yeah. That's the road from where I'm standing now is the viaduct where the train runs across. Bit of history of Blake down there. Let's find out a bit more about who built that. Well, we've come down to Ladies Pool. I'm not going to dwell on this a lot because I've already got some videos out with the uh, out with the the uh, Ladies Pool uh, as part of uh, the Blake Down Valley, as you can see on the board. I've just seen a falcon just fly across across the pool so uh, we just walk by the side of it like I said I'm not going to dwell on too much I uh, don't want to spoil your viewing on another another video I've got out but that is ladies pool landmark of uh, the blade down <coughs> This is carrying some water for this flowing. Flowing down through the valley. A breakdown. There's a valley of breakdown. Oh. Wish I could have caught that, uh, that falcon flying. Oh, never mind. Lovely to see. There's another view of the lake. Ladies pool. Okay, shall we move on? And here on my right here is the plane fields that we used to call it. We used to remember playing here as a lad. And uh, playing football. A great game football club used to play here at one time, years and years ago. You see the building right up there, that is the village hall and that is where I had my wedding reception many many years ago right down playing fields the football field I don't play football here anymore but uh, I think they've got a lot of bowl centre up there, right by the uh, by the building. Where that building stands now, there used to be the old uh, palace room, which was a corrugated sheet uh, built place, and they um, and we had the uh, scouts there one time, Cubs and Scouts. Obviously, that's quite a good building. 
There's a guy down here chopping the tops off these trees, so I've got to get out and play. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the Churchill and Blackdown Sports and Recreation Centre and Blackdown Tennis Club. Uh, I mentioned earlier about the playing fields. Well, this is the new playing fields. Uh, not so much new, it's been here a few years now. Uh, when they uh, stopped using the one down by the ladies' pool, which I've just shown you, they uh, built this facility up here. Okay, built it along with swings, slides, uh, a big uh, cricket pavilion over there. It's a nice piece of ground actually. And they also moved the tennis courts from down the avenue to here. It's quite spectacular, three court and uh, floodlights as well. Up until a couple of weeks ago before the lockdown they were actually playing. Uh, I came round last week when the snow was on the ground and they actually swept one of the courts so they're able to play. I've also played football on here, the Blakedown Football Club, many, many years ago, when I was a bit older. Uh, I was at work actually, so I played for the full team and uh, the adult team. Okay, we're now walking down Station Drive, back down to Mill Lane where I, where I live. And, uh, we just go onto the station just to just for you to take a look. See, um, it used to be a beautiful old station with uh, some lovely, lovely buildings there. Um, but obviously, it's as you'll see, it's been changed dramatically to how it used to look when I was youngster. We had the steam trains that used to run through. We get one occasionally coming through, one or two come through. They're going down to the uh, Seven Valley Railway, which is worth uh, worth taking a trip on when um, when we all go back to some sort of normal. Platform I'm on is platform one, and this platform will take you to uh, Kidderminster and then on to Worcester, Worcester, Fourgate Street, and, and, and uh, Shrubbill. And then platform two, which is the other side, takes you up to Birmingham. That's I think that's the only thing that's left now is the. Uh, the original breakdown station sign. They changed them for these. And uh, used to have a ticket office here and a one of waiting room. But now they've been replaced with these type of waiting rooms. And that there's the railway station, Churchill and Blake Down. Uh, you get your tickets, there's a ticket machine here, but also you can get your ticket on the train because they don't have to pay somebody to sit in the ticket office. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to take you down to two more, two more landmarks in Blake Down. Okay, so let's uh, take a walk down. Okay, so uh, we're coming down to one of my favourite spots, Churchill and Blake Down. The reason why is because when I was a, a youngster, I used to come down here and play. 
Oh, well, most of the kids off the estate did actually. Um, spend many, many an hour down here playing by that was known as the brook. He used to bring the action man down here. And he used to have one of those action men which uh, had one of the, uh, you know, the underwater, the, the, the wetsuit. And the building on the, on the right there is the old mill. Uh, used to have a water wheel there that you, and the water used to power the mill so it used to um, grind the corn which uh, Blakedown was quite famous for many many years ago part of the uh, Blakedown Valley there's some up at Churchill as well, the old mills so uh, I'll do a video on that uh, one of my walk downs, uh, lockdown walk down so there it is, the brook and somebody threw a cone in there, which don't look very good. But uh, there's the water that's flowing down. It twists and turns through through the countryside there. Great memories of being down here. Used to have some fish down here and catch some fish. Trout actually used to swim in here. I don't think uh, I'm not sure what does and sticklebacks and what have you. We'll go across the other side of the bridge and there you can see it flowing from up Churchill Way. This, uh, this here is, belongs to the guy who lives up the road. He put all these uh, birds and there's a, there's a hippo in there, there's a crocodile in there, or alligator or whatever. Uh, he dug that out and put it in. I did do a video on when it was flooded uh, last February. February time when we had the floods in the UK, which was quite bad. Uh, I'll put a link in the video for you to have a look at that one. It's worth having a look because it's you, then you'll get a comparison between the two when it's flowing nice and easy now to when it was really, really coming down. So that's uh, another landmark of uh, Blake Down, the brook. Okay, so I'm going to just take a little walk up here. There is the uh, mill lane. The sign to mill lane. If you carry on along this road, it'll take you into Churchill. Now, I'm not going to carry on with that today. Give you a video on that. Uh, the lights go in a bit, so I need to be a little bit quicker to get this done. But I want you to see. Now I'm going to take you to uh, through this gate here. And it takes us on to Churchill and Blakedown Golf Club, golf course. I've got a couple of uh, a couple of videos I've done. I did a review the other day on the course because of the lockdown, and Boris, in his wisdom, says we can't play golf. But the other side of the border, you can up in Scotland. You can still play. I think people are playing. Other parts of uh, Europe as well, which is quite frustrating for us English that we can't go out and play golf. You know, we could go out and play in in uh, two ball. Don't always have to play in four balls. I have to play on my own individually. So uh, come on, Boris, give us a break, will you? Now let's go out and get some exercise on the course, not just walking it. And I just wanted to finish up with the uh, the golf course. Like I said, uh, I did a review on that. I'll put a link in here to take a look. 
Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed your walk with me today. Um, until next time then guys, you take care and be safe and uh, subscribe if you're interested in um, nature and getting out into nature, taking walks and having a look around. Uh, put your own videos on. People are really interested in to see what's going on in other people's lives in their uh, in the area that they live. Okay, until next time then guys, take care.